Today we're going to take a look at peer revision. So often we want our kids to be working with each other in order to do peer revision, but we find that the students are not very successful. We'll set them off for their task and generally it becomes a social event rather than a good peer editing or peer revision time. The other thing that happens because kids are really not teachers where they can give good feedback to other students. They tend to say either, well, it was all good, I liked it all, or they're likely to give some terribly harsh criticism that it totally crushes the other student. And it's not really their fault, it's just that they don't know how to do peer editing. And it's far more successful, as empowering writers would suggest, to give your kids a true task that they can do with their partner. But to get them ready for a task, you need to make sure that you have modeled the revision strategy with your students, then have them, have them use it on their own writing before they begin to sit down with a partner. So today we're going to take a look at how that might appear when you're teaching your students how to do peer revision. And the tool for this is ju just a set of colored pencils. Once you have picked the skill that you have taught your students, and now it's time for them to do some revision work, you're going to give your students the colored pencils so they can highlight the specific strategies that they used after you had presented that skill. Today we're going to suppose that we are, have taught our students the skill for describing, doing a descriptive segment for the setting in a narrative. You've taught your students, you've modeled that for them, and now it's time to revise. The specific skills for a modeled piece of setting encourages the students to use all five senses. Their sense of sight, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. So you will assign each of those senses a color. So for today, we're going to assume that sight is going to be in red, hearing will be in blue, smell will be in pink, touch will be in green, and taste will be in purple. So here is a segment that you might have chosen to use with your student to show them how to revise. It could be a segment that you wrote yourself, a segment from a mentor text, or a segment that students had written themselves. And here is an example. The winter air felt cold and crisp against my skin. As I walked through the thick drifts, my leg muscles strained against the weight of the snow. I observed the tree branches dressed in white, making a magical scene. The sun twinkled on the icicles hanging from rooftops. I stopped to listen to winter birds calling through the wind, lucky enough to see a hawk swooping through the sky. I caught the scent of wood burning in fireplaces warming the surrounding homes. It was a glorious day. As you can see, all four senses that made sense with this particular winter setting are very clear for the students to see. From this point, you would then have your students write their own setting for winter and highlight the different colors based on the senses. Finally, when they're comfortable doing that on their own piece, you would have the students meet in pairs or in small groups in order to begin the highlighting process again on another piece. That way, the students can readily see which senses they used and which were left out. And that's the point at which they want to revise by adding it in. This particular strategy can also be used with any genre of writing, whether it's expository or opinion or skills that you are teaching for response to text. 